Hello, and welcome to today's webinar, How I Reverse My Parkinson's Symptoms. This webinar will discuss the challenges faced by Parkinson's patients, one man's fight with PD, and how his success inspired him to bring his solution to the world. My name is Jim Hamilton, and I will be your moderator. This webinar features Manoj Agarwala, CEO of Nine Zest and fellow Parkinson's fighter. We also have Deepak Kumar Nain, Nine Zest Head of Therapy Protocol, with more than 10 years treating over 1,000 Parkinson's patients. If you have any questions, you can submit them through the Q&A button. Deepak will be available to address any therapy protocol related questions. Now, let's hear from Manoj. Hi, I'm Manoj, CEO and co-founder of NineJest. I was diagnosed with Parkinson's in 2013. As you Parkinson's fighters know, it is a disease that gets worse and worse over time. When I was diagnosed, my UPDRS, a scale for measuring Parkinson's progression, was 14. In the first two years, it climbed to 35 and I could not even walk 100 meters. My Parkinson's created many challenges for me. This slide mentions the ones that bothered me the most. My biggest challenge was rounded posture, which happened from time to time and was quite crippling in the sense that when it happened, I could not walk. My speech became slurred and people had a hard time understanding me often asking me to repeat what I said. I also developed shoulder pain in my left shoulder and my typing became quite slow. It impacted my professional life quite a bit because being in the information technology, I was at my computer all day. Driving also became a challenge because of shoulder pain and slower reaction speed. I noticed an excess saliva causing drooling. Eating and drinking were affected as chewing and swallowing became difficult. My face became expressionless and I had to make a conscious concerted effort to smile in photos. My sleep was affected quite a bit. Some nights I would toss and turn the entire night. It was also difficult to get in and out of bed and chairs. I tried several different things to overcome my challenges, including seeing a movement disorder specialist and medication. Many of you know that exercise and therapy can play a major role in slowing the progression of the disease. Here I will talk about how I tried to leverage exercise and therapy. The first thing I did was to buy some yoga DVDs to work out at home. They turned out to be generic exercises and did not address my specific needs. Then I thought I would hire a yoga teacher hoping that they would be able to personalize the workout routine. This turned out to be very expensive, costing me around $150 per hour and was simply not sustainable. I also tried hiring a personal trainer. It was a little less expensive at $75 per hour but the trainer turned out to be unprofessional. I prepaid him for 14 sessions and he never showed up after the first. Then my doctor recommended LSVT loud and LSVT big. The LSVT protocols were quite taxing. It required me to visit the therapist four times per week for four weeks. Between both protocols, this was an eight-week program. Even though insurance paid for most of the cost, 
the deductibles and copage were still su substantial. LSBT Loud was helpful in improving my speech, at least initially, but within a few months my speech became slurred again. Two years later, I was visiting India and I met a holistic therapist. I started working out with her there and when I returned to the US, I continued my therapy over the internet. Even though this therapy was quite effective, it was still somewhat challenging. Because of the time zone difference, I had to wake up very early. Though it was less expensive than the alternatives, it was still costly at several hundred dollars per month. Also on the days I worked out on my own, it was hard to remember the details of the routine I was supposed to follow. This experience with teletherapy inspired me to create something that utilized its effectiveness without the costs and time constraints it had. We created a Parkinson's solution that is holistic in nature. It addresses most of the common symptoms faced by people with Parkinson's. Some of these are listed as goals in the slide such as mobility, dexterity, speech, various pains, anxiety, and sleep. The solution leverages various methods such as physical, occupational, and speech therapy along with meditation, yoga, and fitness to help people alleviate these symptoms. The 9J solution has a built-in artificial intelligence engine, 9 Jest Smart, that creates an individualized therapy protocol tailored for each person. The 9 Jest Parkinson's app is available in both the Google and Apple app stores. We also have a coach app where a 9 Jest certified coach can further tailor individual protocols. I started using the app five to six times per week. In three months, my EPDRS fell to 24, and in a year, it was down to 18. The picture is from my family vacation to Yellowstone National Park. I was able to hike 30 miles in a week the most hiking I have ever done in my life. This video demonstrates how hard it was for me to function in my daily life before I started this daily therapy and the dramatic improvement I saw. This kind of success inspired me to start Nine Just and make holistic therapy available to people suffering from debilitating conditions such as Parkinson's, stroke, and chronic pain worldwide in an affordable manner. Now I would like to hand this back over to Jim, who will demonstrate how the app works and how it can help address the challenges Parkinson's fighters face. Thanks, Manoj. Now, I will demonstrate how we can use this app to address the challenges faced by Manoj, also common to most people with Parkinson's. We'll take a look at a few of the goals and how they address common Parkinson's symptoms. There are three steps to generate a customized workout. We begin with selecting a goal, then answer a few questions, and choose our schedule. The app generates a workout plan and we can begin our workout. First, let's take a look at mobility. We go through a short assessment. The answers we provide are used by the 9 Zest Smart Engine to create a personalized protocol. Now, we are looking at the schedule for this plan. We can choose between different workout lengths select the days we want to work out, 
and the time of day to be reminded to work out. Here we can see the workout tailored for us based on our assessment answers. This plan has exercises for posture correction, strengthening, as well as walking and balance. Let's start the workout. First, we see a list of equipment these exercises make use of. These are generally household items or light workout equipment. We begin with an introduction to the workout, then each exercise begins with a demonstration, followed by the actual workout. Hey, glad to see you for this session. My name is Allison, and I am your personal coach to assist you with your workout today. Before each exercise, we will demonstrate the correct way of performing the exercise. Please use the time to learn, catch your breath, drink some water, and get ready for the next exercise. If you need an additional breather, you can pause the video anytime. So, let's get going. Start with our first exercise, Cobra Pose. Lie on your stomach with arms by your side. Place your palms by the sides of your shoulders with elbows close to your body. Inhale, slide the chest forward, and raise your head then chest, arching the back and looking up. Keep the legs together and straight. Hold this for 5 seconds. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 and exhale and relax. Let it do. Ten. More to go. Five, four, three, two, one. Nine. More to go. Five, four, three, two, one. We just viewed the mobility goal. To summarize, we can look back at the challenges Manoj experienced. This plan helped him with walking endurance, posture correction, driving, and getting in and out of chairs and bed. The same process of assessment and scheduling we saw for mobility is how each of the goals work. Let's jump ahead to see what plan the app generated for our dexterity goal. These exercises help address issues with fine motor movement. We just viewed the dexterity goal. These exercises help Parkinson's fighters with fine motor skills such as typing, writing, and buttoning up clothes. Shoulder pain is quite common with Parkinson's. The shoulder pain goal can target the left or right shoulder or both. We just viewed the shoulder pain goal. Other goals available include back pain, neck pain, and knee pain. 9's holistic approach includes more than just physical therapy. Let's take a look at the speech goal, our workout plan, and watch one of the exercises. Let's switch to our next exercise, which is a vowel. Keep your tongue inside your mouth and face downwards. Clearly say the vowel A sound. Ah. In the speech plan that we just viewed, we saw exercises that help strengthen the vocal cords and muscles around the mouth needed to articulate clear speech. Let's take a look at a similar goal to speech, the orofacial goal. The orofacial exercises address very common challenges people with Parkinson's experience. Difficulty in chewing and swallowing food and drink, excess saliva, and reduced facial expressions. The sleep plan consists of breathing exercises and meditation. Let's watch a brief demo of what these consist of. 
Welcome to the world of meditation, visualization, and pranayama. This session is going to help you get a sound sleep and encourage a healthy lifestyle. This is a practice of self-awareness, the practice of reducing stress and improving concentration. Before we get started with the session, find a comfortable chair or yoga mat. Once you settle down, close your eyes, take a deep breath and start. For best results, try each meditation technique for at least one week. Let's start with our first exercise. 4 to 7 to 8 breath. In this pranayam we will be breathing to the count of 4 through the nostrils. Hold the breathe for the count of 7, and then breathe out from the mouth, by blowing out air from the mouth from the count of 8. This pattern will be repeated 4 times consecutively. Throughout this practice the tip of the back of your tongue, will be placed against the ridge of the upper front teeth like this. Let's begin the practice. Place the tongue in position. Breathe in 2, 3, 4. Hold 2, 3, 4. Four, five, six, seven. Out two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's do it again. Begin. Here we go. Breathe in two, three, four. Hold two, three, four, five, six, seven. Out two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Relax. Begin. Breathe in two, three, four. Hold two, three, four, five, six, seven. Out two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Relax. That last goal was the sleep goal. I hope you noticed how it differs from many of the physical exercises we have seen. Mindfulness and meditation have been shown to benefit mood, sleep, and general well-being. Now that we've seen how different goals benefit different Parkinson's symptoms, let's take a look at the 9s progress meter. The progress meter helps you establish a baseline score and through periodic testing helps you track your improvement. The progress meter consists of a selection of tests for each of your goals. Let's watch one for mobility, the 30-second chair stand. First, we watch the demonstration and then begin the test. This is a measure of lower extremity strength. Sit in the middle of the chair. Place your hands on the opposite shoulder crossed at the wrists. Keep your feet flat on the floor. Keep your back straight and keep your arms against your chest. Rise to a full standing position and then sit down again. Repeat this for 30 seconds and return to sitting position. Count the number of times you were able to stand in 30 seconds. You can take support if you are losing balance. Take your position and wait for go. Ready. Set. Go. Twenty five seconds to go. Fifteen seconds remaining. Three, two, one, and stop. After the test, we record our score. The Nines S. Parkinson's app is available for people fighting PD, but we also have a paired app, Coach Connect, for therapists. In this app, 9s certified coaches can tailor workout plans to meet users' specific needs. Now, I would like to take a moment to summarize what we have covered in this webinar. 9s mission is to enhance quality of life by leveraging neuroplasticity principles for debilitating conditions such as Parkinson's, stroke, and chronic pain. These conditions are all chronic and lifelong, but the symptoms patients experience can be alleviated and their general quality of life can be improved. 
Neuroplasticity refers to the phenomenon of recovery or reversal of neurological disorders. As our brains age, new networks can be created through repetitive actions and exercises. This can provide a workaround to deterioration caused by these conditions. The actions and exercises provided by Ninezest are holistic in nature, which means they provide an array of different therapies including physical therapy, speech and occupational therapy, yoga, and meditation. This multidisciplinary approach can be done at home, offering convenience and affordability over the current standard of care. The app contains Ninezest Smart, an artificial intelligence engine that produces custom-tailored exercise protocols based on user input through self-assessment. These protocols can be tweaked as the user needs or tailored by a therapist through Coach Connect. The app is a FDA registered class 2 medical device and it currently has over 2,000 active users. I encourage you to download the app, take advantage of the free trial, and start your journey towards a better quality of life. Now you'll see a poll with two questions. Please answer them and we will take up the questions for the Q&A. Our first question is from Miguel, a general practitioner in Portugal. He asks, the improvement in UPDRS isn't only after the holistic therapy. It also includes levodopa medication, right? Manoj, can you answer this? Sure, uh, great question. Levodopa does impact UPDRS, uh, can significantly improve UPDRS, but in my case, I've been on a stable dosage of liver dopa for the last two years since I started this exercise program. My liver dopa dosage has not increased at all. Great. Thanks, Manoj. Our next question is for Deepak from Dave. Is there any evidence that these exercises benefit Parkinson's symptoms? Uh, Research clearly indicates that these exercises improve Parkinson's symptoms and slows the progression of the disease. Research paper can be found through the references link at the bottom left of our website, ninezest.com. Additional questions can be directed to support at ninezest.com. Great, thanks Deepak. This next one's also for you. Steve asks, what amount of exercise is needed to see results? It varies from person to person, but typically 30 or more minutes per day, four to five days per week. The most important thing is to keep exercise regular and consistent. Make it a part of our, make it a part of your lifestyle. Thanks. John asks, you mentioned that the app is FDA registered. What does that mean? Well, John, the Ninesis apps are registered as class two medical devices with the FDA. Uh, and this means that we comply with the FDA's safety regulations for these kind of devices. This next one's for Manoj from Bob. Manoj, you mentioned so many different goals. How do you divide your time between the workouts? Bob, great question again. Normally, I work out one hour per day for five to six days per week. So in a week, I'm able to focus on three most important goals. But those goals vary from time to time and month to month, depending on what I'm having the most difficulty with. 
So I keep changing my goals depending on where I need help most. Thanks, Manoj. Susan asks, I like the exercises, but I need a stronger focus on shoulder strengthening. How can I change my workout? Uh, Susan, if you'd like to further customize the plan that the 9Jest Smart Engine creates for you, we have certified coaches available who can further tailor the exercise protocol to fit your needs. If you would like a coach to review your plan, contact us at support at 9 and this next one is for Deepak. Lisa asks, how safe is the app? How do you prevent falls or other injuries? Deepak? Uh, yeah. Lisa, uh, we ask questions about balance and ability to stand and walk in the assessments. If the user has great difficulty with these, then the Nines is Smart Engine tailors the exercise protocol to fit the user's needs. For example, standing exercise may switch to seating or lying down. The user can also change the exercise variation manually. In addition, you should use your own best judgment on what you are capable of doing. Thanks, Deepak. We have a question from Adam. I see a physical therapist once a week. Can I use the app with my therapist? Adam, we have a coach app for therapists to use to track your progress. They can also tailor your exercises as they see fit. Please have your therapist get in touch with us at support at 9 And we have a question from Jonathan. He asks, how much does the app cost? The cost varies based on the country you live in and whether you choose the monthly or annual plan. For specific questions about which plan is best for you, again, please contact us at support at 9 We have a, another question for Deepak. This is from Dylan. He asks, I experienced frequent episodes of freezing. What does the app do to address freezing? Deepak? Yeah. Dylan, uh, freezing episodes are quite common in Parkinson's. Using the exercise in mobility and walking endurance goals will help you reduce freezing episodes. Great, thanks Deepak. Here's another one for you from Gary. How does the app address radiokinesia the, or slowness in movement and rigidity? Gary, uh, bradykinesia or slow movements can be addressed with regular physical therapy exercises and occupational therapy exercises. The mobility and dexterity goals are especially effective, but all of the goals will help the slowness and bradykinesia. Thanks, Deepak. We have a question from Brian. He asks, does insurance or Medicare reimburse the app subscription fee? Brian, we don't bill Medicare or private insurance at this time, but you could check with your insurance provider to ask about reimbursement. It would depend on the country you live in and the insurance plan you have. A similar question from Gina. Gina asks, in the US, is the app subscription fee reimbursable from health savings accounts or flexible spending accounts? Gina, the app subscription fee should be reimbursable from both HSA and FSA, or health savings accounts and flexible spending accounts, but you should always check with your plan administrator to confirm. We have another question for Deepak. Allison asks, I am wheelchair bound. Are there exercises in the app for me? Deepak? Allison, yes. We have many exercises that can be done from a sitting position or lying down. The app will automatically generate the appropriate protocol for you based on how you answer the assessment questions. So this concludes the webinar. If you have any other questions or comments, please contact us at the phone number or email address 
at the right of your screen or visit us on the web at ninezest.com. Thank you.